what Islamic meditation is. Sure. Um, Islamic meditation, uh, at, at its most basic level, it's um, any of a wide variety of ways and forms in which Muslims in their daily life uh, try to remember God, try to focus on God, try to somehow make God present in whatever activity they're doing. And you see this all across the board uh, in more formal ways. Um, there's no uh, legal obligation in Islam to, 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 to recite the Qur'an, you know, to sit down once, twice a week, maybe daily, and just recite the Qur'an. A lot of Muslims do that as an act of piety. Is um, that the, when they pray five times a day? So when you do pray five times a day, there's a, a small number of Qur'anic verses that you have to recite. Um, but beyond that, it's a very, very common practice for Muslims just to sit down on their own, by their own will, and read and recite verses of the Qur'an. Um, not obligatory, that's just their own choice. Right. And uh, as they're doing like that... Like we would pray as a Christian. Is that the same... Is that, would that be an analogy? Um, so if they sat down and they were reading a passage out of the Qur'an, mm -hmm. would it be like reading a passage out of the Bible? Or is it different? This, probably the biggest significant difference is that uh, the Qur'an, um, for the vast majority of Muslims, is thought to be the direct word of God himself. Right? This is God's word, God's speech. And so you are actually reciting, memorizing, internalizing an extension of, of God himself, God's own voice, God's own breath. The New Testament, well, let's start with the New Testament for right. Christians, um, you know, that's widely regarded as not God's direct word, mm -hmm. right? That's the inspired word of, of John and Matthew and Mark, um, but Sorry. it's not God's direct word. The, right. the word of God is usually thought to be Jesus himself. So the, in a way, the closest analog would be the Eucharist, right? That's where you take God's own substance and take it into yourself, right? Assimilate mm -hmm. it, make it part of you. Reciting the God's word, the Quran, is thought to be um, roughly uh, comparable to that. So that would be probably the most common form of what you might call Muslim meditation, right? You sit down with the Quran, you recite God's word, you reflect on God's word, and you so try to... So they would read it and then sit and just think about it? Uh, many will, yeah, very commonly. Mm -hmm. Uh, or even just the very sound of it, hearing the sound of it, hearing somebody recite it beautifully. That's another way that they can focus is it like their chanting? devotion. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and you can focus your energies, focus your attention, focus your devotion on God that way. Uh, and then there's much more uh, informal, day-to-day -day sort of ways that you Muslims do what you might call meditation. Um, if you ever go to the Islamic world, again, whatever language they speak, um, Arabic, Persian, Swahili, Sindhi, Tamil, any of these languages, uh, there'll be characteristic Arabic phrases that are taken from the Quran that just pepper everyday life. Whenever you're talking about future plans, Muslims will always say, Inshallah, which means, Inshallah, Inshallah which means if, mean? if God wills. <clears throat> Right. And you're, it's just it's always encouraged. You always have to add that after because nothing can happen except by God's will. What would be something like we would say in the Christian religion, what would it be similar to? Um, I guess the phrase God willing. Um, okay. When Latin was still around, Christians would say Deo Valente um, right. in reference to the future. Uh, but I think it's, it's uh, it, in my limited understanding of Christianity, I think it's much more ritualized for Muslim. I mean, you hear this phrase just peppering daily life. And the hope, the ideal, is that every time you say it, it's just forcing you to remember God's involvement in everything you do, no matter how small, right? Brushing your teeth, right? Making an appointment. God is somehow involved there. So I, th I would call that a form of meditation, right? You're, you could easily forget God in all these mundane things, but there's uh, this very formal, broad, basic practice of forcing everyone to remember that God is somehow part of this. Uh, the phrase, Bismillah, in the name of God, starts uh, every chapter of the Quran except for one. Right? It initiates the chapter. Um, Muslims very commonly to this day, whenever they're about to start an activity, they're about to start their test, they turned on their car, they're about to drive, they'll say Bismillah, in the name of God, the All-Merciful, the All-Compassionate, before they go. And I again would call this a form of meditation. Right? You're invoking God's mercy, you're invoking God's protection, and you're remembering God before you set out on this new task.